It's showtime! You sign a contract, and I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what I'm saying. I'm, it's gonna be a mess. It's not gonna be nothing close. It's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna fuck that bitch. I'm too superior. That's what it is. Hey yo, what up you guys? It's your boy Boxing Fanatic, back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. For that date was, Haney said that he'll be coming to his hometown, which is San Francisco. And Devin Haney been, you know, trying to make this fight with Regis Progray. Regis Progray was trying to get this fight set for October he was trying to fight in his hometown, which is Louisiana. But I guess I don't know how they worked out the logistics of, you know, where the fight was going to be, who would get what, this, that, and the third. So I guess they worked everything out. And looked like we're going to be having a fight December 9th for the WBC. Uh, Regis Prograde currently hold right now. Devin Haney was stripped of his WBC. And now we have... Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin will be fighting for that. And if Devin Haney wants to come back down to get that belt, he will have to face the winner out of um, Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin. So, but I don't think Devin Haney going to pack a lot of power, but I still see Devin outboxing him and outsmarting him because you only look as good as your last fight. And Regis Progray, he didn't look too good in his last fight, in his last outing. And we all seen what Devin Haney did. He defended his titles against Vasily Lomachenko. And uh, made Vasily Lomachenko cry at the end. Because I know Vasily Lomachenko felt like, you know, he beat Devin. And it just didn't work out in his favor. So when the WBC stripped Devin Haney of his, his title... Um, the, I guess Bob Aaron made some calls and was trying to make a fight with his two fighters that he had, that he promote, which is Scott Stevenson and, um, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, but, but Vasily Lomachenko turned down the fight and, um, Bob Aaron was saying that, you know, he going to take the rest of the year off, but it's looking like he had serious talk with George Cambosis for his titles. It's going down in San Francisco. Um, who I'm taking in this fight? I'm taking Devin in this fight. I think Devin is just like I said, he's going to outpour him. Um, I think he's going to land the cleaner shots. Um, I think he's going gonna to be faster than him. But I know if Regis Prograde is to connect on Devin, because we already know Regis Prograde packs a lot of punch. And like I said, Regis Prograde, he didn't look too good in his last outing. And if he come out fighting that way against Devin Haney, he going to lose, hand down. Hands down, man down. He going to lose against Devin Haney. Um, can Regis Prograde do something to offset Devin Haney? Yes. I mean, can he be a little bit more aggressive? Yes. Could he say he didn't look too good in his last outing? Um. And that's just my honest opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. All right. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.